the official interview from Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Hi, I'm here with Brian Robison. Brian survived on his own after a plane crash in the Canadian wilderness. How were you feeling when the pilot died and you had to fly the plane? I was so scared. I thought I was going to die for sure. There were so many buttons and gears. I did not know which one to press. I'm just happy that I am alive. Do you think that you will ever fly in a plane again? I will, but only in special situations, like meeting my family because I'm going to be afraid that the pilot will die or even pass out. If I'm going to go on a plane, I will be prepared, like I will bring lots of food. What was your hobby before you got trapped in the woods? I have so many hobbies, but if I had to choose one, it would be riding my bike and doing tricks off my bike. Me and my friend Terry would have bike races. I would always win. What was the scariest animal you encountered? It was the moose because it charged at me and it hurt my ribs. It had really big antlers. I am just glad that the moose hit me with his hooves. If he hit me with his antlers, my ribs would not be the only things hurting. What did you do with the hatchet when you got back home? I would bring it everywhere. I wouldn't accept the places that you can't really bring a hatchet like school. I feel really scared when I don't have my hatchet because my hatchet saved me in some pretty hard moments. What were you feeling when you made fire? I was so happy because with that fire, I could have a warm place to stay and the smoke coming from the fire drove away the mosquitoes. The most important thing I could do with the fire is to cook the animals that I caught from hunting. After you got home, what was the first thing you ate? Right when I got home, my mom took me to the restaurant where they serve the best burgers. The restaurant was called Best Burgers, and that name was not wrong. I was so starving that I felt like I could eat 23 burgers, but my mom said I could only have two. They were the best burgers I've ever had. When you dropped your hatchet into the lake, what were you feeling? I was feeling so afraid because I did not know how deep the water was. I wanted to punch myself in the face because that hatchet was the key to survival. Without that hatchet, I could not make weapons or hunt very easily. What kept you going all that time you were alone in the wilderness? The thing that kept me going out in the wilderness was that I knew my mom was going to go look for me. After a month had passed, I knew I was going to be okay if I got the survival pack because the survival pack had stuff to survive with. Were you glad that you got lost in the middle of the woods when it was summer and not winter? Yes, I am glad that it was not winter because there would be snow all over the ground. If there was snow on the ground, my shelter would have needed to be a lot stronger and my fire would need to be a lot bigger. The most important thing was that I did not have clothes for the snow. If you could have one thing from the survival pack earlier on, what would it be? It would be nice to have the emergency transmitter because I would not have been rescued sooner. Even if I did not know what it was, I would still probably press the button to activate it so the pilot would come rescue me. Thanks for answering my questions. Any last words? If you are ever stuck in the wilderness, you can survive. Don't give up. I didn't think I could, but I did.